Hello my friends of Middle Earth and welcome to the Beyond Sanders channel. My name is Shanks and today we are on the map West Mnet in BFME 1 on the page 2.22 for a video commentary between good and evil in the BFME 1 online battle arena. If the Mordor player Zimix versus the Rohan player Isildur. So much free content for me. I like this battle arena. There are all the replays which are automatically being saved so I can search a game and cast it for you. And hopefully you guys will enjoy this. So lots of videos for you, lots of free content for me. A win-win situation for both of us, okay? All right, Mordor capturing the orc pit and the settlement in the front. This one in the back with the golem and this one also with the orc warrior. Sending forward to the settlement. He will be there actually very fast. And here it's a 1v2 situation with the hobbit. You can't fight this and he will give up the mill. He will have to give up the mill. And when they are trying to repair, your hobbit can actually kill them. Okay, that's very important too. So the golem is here in a 2v2 situation with I, maybe. But remember there is a hobbit. Hobbit is two shotting those orcs, making it very hard for Mordor to win this fight. Oh no, they got level 2. That's so bad for Rohan. Oh my god. Okay, they are getting level 2. They, he will capture this and he needs to cancel this too. The level 2 orc will hit like a truck. You can't fight this Marriott Brandy Bog. The farm is going to be built up, no problemo. In the meantime, there is a slaughterhouse. Mordor has been building up and Rohan has to take care of this. But I think he's not paying attention. He does pay attention. He will send, send one more. And he's going to be bitten here by the Borg. No! And one of them has been taken down and the other one has been damaged too. Oh, that's so good for Mordor actually, you know? So the um, Rohan farm is going to be destroyed by the Orc Warriors. No problemo. Two of them demolishing it. But remember, there is a Hobbit hidden. That means Mordor can't recapture this. Which is minus one settlement. The Lumber Mill here will also be taken down. The workers are trying to repair. They will actually heal it up quite a bit. But it's two battalions of pheasants. One of them not being attacking. Should be attacking this one. Then he can destroy it. But he doesn't want to attack it. He's trying to kill the workers. But even with the workers repairing, there is just too much damage from the one battalion. And the Lumber Mill is going to be destroyed. Our other warriors. Um, they're going to be shot in the face. But he's dodging them. That's very good. Keep the orcs always on the hobbit. It means the hobbit can't do what he wants to do. He will get cloaked. That's all he can do. More Haradrims are going to be recruited. And where are they going though? I'm wondering. There is no creep, my friend. Ah, he want to catch them. Okay, never mind. I'm blind. My bad. Good move here from him. Bad eyes from me. Haradrim Palace needs two more Haradrims to get to level 2. And we have a level 2 peasant over here. Hobbit is going to be taken down. The Haradrims will be trampled. Beautiful micro there. Beautiful micro, micro by the Rohan player. When you don't trample them, you can easily kill them as you can see and tell. Only one of the Rohirrim has been taken down. The Orcs should be getting slaughtered also by the Rohirrim. No problemo. They are level 2. They have a bit more revenge damage if you trample them. But the result is going to be the same. The Rohirrim are victorious. Just like in the terms. Okay, the build array is farm into the stable. And for that reason, Rohan's eco is not looking too hot. You need at least three Rohirrim for the map control. If you want to go for the siege, the siege, I mean the rush, you need actually four Rohirrim in total. Because that's the required number of Rohirrim to your stable to get level two, which, I will, uh, which unlocks the horse shield upgrade. More armor against horses. This one. Okay. The Borg has been killed. And also this creep is going to be eventually, eventually taken down. Very good micro here by the Rohan player. If he gets the kill on the Borg, he's going to get level 2. That's going to unlock the banner. And with the banner level 2, you will deal also more damage. And the creep should be no problemo. Creeping offensively is always the best thing that you can do against Mordor. And he was able to take all the Borg creeps offensively already. But there are, there are Haradrims, which are quite dangerous. You have heal, if you want to, from the spell book. But he won't go for it. The outpost will be captured by Mordor, and he will immediately put in the Haradrims inside. For that reason, Mordor has to give up the area, and he needs to disengage as soon as possible. 
Remember, there are two troll creeps in the middle. One of them has been taken down now by the model player with the Haradrims and Orcs. And there is one more remaining. And with the power points he was getting from the creep, he almost has unlocked the industry, which is a massive power spike for Mortar's early game. But he has zero outside settlements. For that reason, he needs the money from the industry is so much, you know. The creep here will be secured by Mordor, no problemo. Easter links up on the field. Um, no, no peasant will be recruited yet from the farms. And the farm here is going to be destroyed. It's a new meta, by the way. We see rune soldiers now in every single game. By the way, as we are, as we are talking, Rohan was able to creep both the layers around this location. Everything is level 2 now. He needs two more le levels for the Glorious Charge. And Rohan and Mordor is not going for the Troll Cage yet. It means his base is vulnerable against a potential rush of the Rohirrim. And he's going for the Horseman number 4, which again will make the stable hit level 2. And also buying the Bleeds, okay? Oh boy. Don't let them creep this. Nice. If possible, give it to Theoden always, you know? Theoden is gonna read it later on if you wanna get him to level 4, and he's gonna do this too. But there are rune soldiers coming, Theoden needs to be fast, he's gonna get level 3, almost level 4. Again, getting closer to that glorious charge. There comes the Elven summon, and good micro here with the rune soldiers, very good, but the elves are shredding them. Obviously, a counter to the rune soldiers, and they can now keep going. With the Theoden leadership, the Elves will also deal more damage. Remember, he has no troll upon the field just yet, but it's about to be changed. However, one troll can't do anything about the Elves, okay? And if he can destroy the Haradrim Ferris, it's going to be a big achievement. It's going indeed down, but the Theoden is exposed. Don't trample into the Pikeman. He's going to get away just barely. Now he can keep he, he can keep rushing this. But in the meantime, Mordor is taking over the map, and that's something you don't want to happen as Rohan. Mordor is defending, and also the Elves' time will be gone very, very soon. And he doesn't want to keep rushing. There are one more Rune Soldier, which the Elves can eventually clear. They are taking a lot of damage from the Elves. Remember, you can't get away from them. Runes are not as fast, but very smart move. Holy, what a smart move here from the Mordor player. Buying the Outpost and the placing the Haradrims or the Runes inside the Outpost. The Elves are gone now, and it means they can get away from the... Citadel, like they do, and Theoden has to be careful too. I will be used. Theoden is not paying attention. One more hit. Oh, Theoden will be taken down. He was paying attention in the last possible second, but it was not good enough. Also, very smart move. I mean, very big brain alert, by the way. Very well done here with the rune soldiers, outpost control. Very well done. Mordor also capturing the outpost offensively, putting lots of pressure on Rohan. Remember, the Elven play is gone. Elves have 5 minutes and 30 seconds cooldown. That means for the next 3 minutes, they won't be there on the field. And for that reason, there is no threat on the enemy trolls or souls of rune. Troll will be sent forward to put pressure on the castle. That's what you can always do. Force your opponent to build a tower. And the second he builds it, you can always disengage. But if he doesn't build it, you can break the wall for free for later on. You don't need to commit into the castle. But breaking a part of the wall... Or at least forcing your opponent to build this for 700. And then you can dis disengage. And now Rohan has to actually cancel this, which he will do. But that's being annoying. And he dealt free damage to the point. Which, when he repairs, will cost you 1000. The farm here will be also destroyed eventually. There is nothing that can kill the troll as we are talking. And Mordor is a powerhouse. You know, I told you guys. Everybody's like, Mordor is so weak. Mordor isn't weak by all means. So, um, the Citadel is getting chunked, but if he's not paying attention to his horses, if he, if he doesn't pay attention to them, he will die. He's paying attention now, and he will be barely able to save them. That was very close, actually. Only one of them has been left alive. More trolls. And also a very smart move to go for the troll cage regardless. But remember, he lost the Haradrim Palace. That means no more rune soldiers anytime soon. And I believe he has not many of them remaining under his control. Like, he has maybe one, two. He has one here and one at the outpost here. But he built the Haradrim Palace around this location. And he has basically all outpost control 
There comes the glorious charge. Moment. Beautiful snipe on the troll cage. Very well done here by the Rohan player. Delaying uh, the potential drama troll. Making those trolls weaker. Without the drama troll, they will not hit very hard. Maybe Aragon Rush could be the solution. But remember, Mordor has a lot of money. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. He will be able to destroy some of the slaughterhouses. He's getting some power points, at least. That's something. That's better than nothing. And also, demolishing those structures is very, very important for Mordor. Again, also offensive outposts here. Capturing all of them. This outpost, by the way, has been destroyed before. We missed that one. Haradrim Palace only level 1. He doesn't want to get level 2. He want to just make one Haradrim and put him inside and demolish it right after, as you could see. Haradrims are, the, you know, adding so much self-defense to the outpost. It has fire arrows now. And this troll is a goners. Now, you need to be careful. But luckily, he will, he will have a Nazgul very, very soon. Or a Witch King. I, at this point of the game, I wouldn't go for a Nazgul. Because he has Rohir Marches. He has immunity to fear with the 4th Eolinga's passive ability from Theoden level 3. And very smart move here, eating an orc to get away and be just safe. Zemix, the model player, is doing a phenomenal job this game. Playing very good micro-wise. And for that reason, he has the momentum advantage in this game. And a difficult matchup too. Rohan against Mordor, not an easy matchup by all means. But I believe 2.2 is making it a bit more fair for Mordor at least, you know. The slaughterhouse is going to be destroyed. And also good map, good map for Mordor too. This also uh, this farm behind the base is so good. Outpost destroyed by Rohan, and he's also destroyed this one. It's very important to be destroyed. And there are still three outposts in total. Rohan has to break through. And don't lose this level three farm, man. That's such an important farm to be saved. Almost darkness too for Mordor. He has 5.5k, very close to Witch King. Um, GC is very good. The glorious charge is very good. But what would be even better than that would be definitely um, Yoma leadership, you know? But with this all alone, Theoden is giving you 60% more damage, which is very, very powerful. The outpost here will be destroyed, and but he needed to summon the Elven allies for this. And with this, you need to also make sure to take down this outpost. So what Mo Rohan has to do is get Yoman archers, build a statue here behind, but he, he needs to do so many things at the same time, and Rohan's money is not the greatest. Remember, we have only seven spots inside your castle, and one of them being invested into a well, one of them into a stable. That means we have only five resource buildings, which is not enough. Mordor is more than that. You know, Mordor is six. Troll Kitch, almost level two. He needs two more trolls. Remember, he deleted the Troll Kitch by destroying it before. Very good move there from Rohan. And he has now triple outposts, which he will also eventually capture. He's going to capture this one offensively first. He has level 6 Rohirrim, but only level 2 Rohirrim archers. And there is a Witch King. So you need Eowyn. You need Eowyn. This two Rohirrim archers won't be able to kill the Witch King. That's not going to be possible without Elma leadership. And he knows that. Okay, Screech has been used. But again, they are immune to fear when Theoden is nearby. And they are running now. And also, Witch King shouldn't overchase. But he's gonna commit. Because there is no Eowyn yet. He's gonna get him inside the tower. And that comes the darkness. Oh my goodness, okay? Smart move. Destroying the sister first. Very important move here. Destroy the thing that deals the most damage first. The troll number one is gonna be taken down, but they have the drama leadership. Uh, they have not the drama leadership, but they have the Witch King plus darkness plus Eye of Sauron. They are hitting very, very hard. The Rohir Match is gonna knock down on the ground. And this troll is not done yet. And Mordor saw the potential. He's committing fully and actually killing high valuable units. I believe also Tyrion King has been killed, right? He lost Tyrion King for the second time. The first one was a big mistake. And also the second time he could have saved them. But he didn't, unfortunately. High power points. And Witch King is a powerhouse, as we are, as we are talking. Elvin has to be recruited. It's like one of the best counter because it's so cheap counter to Witch King. Her smite ability deals massive damage. It's available with level 1. Trollkish level 2. Outpost will be taken by Mordor. Yes, again, two outposts control against only one, which is the outpost around this area. Um, he has well in statue, and also he has a well inside the base, which he should be demolishing, because he needs every money he can take. He's very, very poor. He has only one level 3 farm inside, 
And as long as those farms not hitting level 3 anytime soon, he will struggle money-wise. He also lost his level 3 farm over here to the Oryx, which could be definitely saved. Like level 3s is so important because the money jump you get from a level 2 to level 3 is 6. So you get 19 from a level 2 structure and 25 from a level 3 structure. This is a massive increasement. Like that's a lot. So the lead game you get more money only if you protect your outer settlements to reach level 3. Witch King. Oh my god, what a hit. Now you have no Theorin resistance to fear and your units are very vulnerable. You just need to wait for Theorin to come back before you can do anything. Oh, heal him. Heal her, heal her, heal her. Heal is gonna be used. Eowyn is getting chunked by the Witch King a lot. I mean, Witch King is countering her. I mean, she's countering Witch King, but Witch King counters her too because she has very low base HP, 800 HP with level 1. So she's quite squishy hero against any source of damage. Okay. Outpost controlled by Rohan. Build two farms here, maybe. You need some money, my friend. You need some resources. Trust me on that one. Trolls are charging now, but the different story is they have this time Drummer Troll. They have no Witch King, uh, they have no Darkness. Okay, be careful. But they have the Drummer Troll. Witch King is coming. Maybe you want to turn and kill him. GC and kill him. Oh my god. What a hit with the trolls. Okay. Will he come into the out to, to the castle though? That's a big question. Maybe darkness is not available yet. He's building a statue. Oh, Witch King is getting chunked. The trolls, they don't know what to do. Eye is available. And he's changing his mind. He's like, okay, because you can actually mess up the game right there. Like one wrong commitment there and you lose all your trolls and Witch King, it's game over. He has double troll cage now. He's spamming trolls everywhere. Double troll cage for the troll spam. Outpost control from Rohan. He was able to protect the outpost. And again, Oryx on this level 2 farm, almost level 3, is a disaster. Rohan has to find a solution to this. He has farm, one farm here, one farm here. And again, Rohan is struggling money-wise. Because everything what he wants to do is so expensive. Rohirrim Archer costs 700 each. And you need to give them banner, fire, and heavy armor. That's a lot. Each Rohirrim Archer costs you around about 2 thousand resources which he just doesn't have to sustain in the eco to do this he was able to save the farm though that's very important but they are coming to this outpost right there there is only one archer inside and there's a nazgul too the drama troll will be sniped very good snipe there because he has only two drama trolls one of them being down now that's gonna be it's gonna be a kill right no that's not gonna be a kill he would be able to survive with like 1 HP. Cloud Break has been used, but the Darkness smashing everything on the ground. And he lost the majority of his army. Holy guacamole. You see that? That's what you need to do. Commit with your Nazgûs and Trolls simultaneously. So he can't kill your Witch King. Because if he stays there and kills your Witch King, your Trolls will smash everything. If he doesn't fight your Trolls, if he wants, runs away, your Witch King and Nazgûl can knock them down. So you force your opponent into a very awkward situation in which whatever he takes, which whatever decision he takes, it's going to be a bad one for him and a good one for you. Demolish the structures in time, my friend. Don't give power points for no reason. Drag darkness is available now. Boom will be used. Lots of leadership now for the trolls. There is one drama troll. If you can snipe him, maybe. Eoma could be a nice hero. There comes the glorious charge. Uh, trolls are pretty much raid bosses. And you see what the Nazis are doing here. They are just disabling the enemy movement by knocking them on the ground over and over again. Um, now, full commitment on the castle eventually. Outpost will be captured by Mordor. A crazy micro by the Mordor player. He knows what he's doing. Every step he takes is planned, thought through. You know, they're always going to be taken down. And just st sit to see uh, outside. You don't want to commit here, maybe. Because here they have like crazy damage leadership. 75% actually. But with enough trolls, you can also take this fight. Okay. Now, you see again what he's doing. Like here, what, what do you want to focus first? You want, what do you want to kill first? Witch King? Trolls? I would go for a drama troll. But again, there are just too many things that can shoot you down. And what a great micro by Mortar. So this guy played actually this game flawless in terms of micro and decision making. 
and very well deserved the victory took very smart fights the way he engaged fights and disengaged them was really expert level right there and for that reason Isildur will be defeated Mordor will rule West Mnet GG well played guys hope you enjoyed this one if you did you know what to do subscribe for more videos like this in the future i will see you next time until then take care of yourself keep hitting like a truck and as always stay beyond standards what's up boys